Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're going to speak about Manchester United winning a Europa League round of 16 tie against Real Betis. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Real Betis nil, Manchester United won, and we are through to the Europa League quarterfinals. Still in every competition available to us, by the way. But as always, you should know what's coming before the breakdown. Unless you're new, subscribe, please. Question of the day. Welcome to the segment of the show where we'll give you a question and by the end of the episode you can provide us with an answer in the comment section below or in the live chat depending on if you're preview guy. So without a further ado, let's reveal today's question of the day. Can you name the top 5 goal scorers all time for Manchester United in European competitions? Real Betis had a really quick start to the game. Aim to end attacking even at times, but they had some golden opportunities through the likes of Wanmi, who really had two great chances in that first half. The first one probably being the best where we turn over the ball and then he's played in one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea. We got a defender on over the right shoulder, chasing him down, trying to get there. And David De Gea, I think, positioned himself well as Wanmi just drags the shot wide with his weaker foot. That was an unlucky one there. And the other one was on the other side, saved by David De Gea. I believe your queen hit the post at one point, deflected out for a corner, mm -hmm. but still it could have gone anywhere. But Betis in general, they just look threatening on the break in the early stages. And you can hear the Betis fans responding well to that. I think the supporters were brilliant. For, for their home team and, and just the home crowd in general great and there was a really good quote by Eric Ten Hag after the game that basically said don't light up the stadium there was noise at the start because we allowed them some transition moments and I think that was perfectly summed up in the end of the day we were cheap in possession we lacked the composure and almost paid the price luckily for us we didn't concede and I think we gained a bit of control as the first half went on created some attacks of our own and just lack the end product once it got to the final stage. Towards the end of the half, Valt Vegos had a golden opportunity to score as Bruno crossed it in from a free kick. Pellistri looked to strike the ball originally in the box as it falls to him but doesn't catch it all that well. But it finds Valt who hits the post. I mean, on, on you know, a few analysis jobs. Because I did a few analysis jobs, looked at the That's clip so. over and over again, and it seemed like he was stretching for the ball. And he couldn't wrap his foot fully around it and catch it and just guide it into the back of the net, which was needed. So that was unfortunate. But as the first half ended now, I had a feeling that we survived the storm of Batiste. We have the free goal advantage. Let's see if we can come out for the second half the way we ended the first looking to get a goal and finish the tie completely. As the second half went by, I thought it was going to end as a nil-nil, which is fine, but for us in particular, we were missing some good chances. Batiste got forward, but just lacked the cutting edge from earlier in the game, especially at the start. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, just before he scored, Marcus Rashford absolutely blasted a shot into the atmosphere from close range, which was probably an easier chance than the one he converted a minute or so True. later, which True. was an absolute bullet from outside the box. Takes three touches and just laces it into the corner of the net. No chance for Ruiz Silva in goal. That was his 25th European competition goal for Manchester United, moving him ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo in sixth all time. And he also became the youngest Manchester United player to score 25 European competition goals for the club. Breaking all the right records this season, Rashi! Big up yourself. ACM, you know what I like this week? How we link the QOD to the game itself and the statistics coming out of it. You think the people will like it? Yeah, I think it's a good idea from time to time to freshen things up. But one question. 
Why you always ask me? Ask them, man. Touche. Question of the day. Can you name the top five goal scorers all time for Manchester United in European competitions? If you talk here, like on a bit, subscribe to the channel, you respect the tweet now. Back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Don't question, question, question time! Question time! Question time! So, how did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? You know, we don't waste no time around her. Let's get the answers on the screen. So here are the top five goal scorers for Manchester United in all European competitions. All time. From top to bottom. Wayne Rooney with 39 goals. Ruud van Nistelrooy with 38. Ryan Giggs with 29. Dennis Law with 28. And finally, Paul Scholes with 26. Marcus Rashford is next below in sixth place with 25. You see the linking that we're doing during this episode. Next level. If you got the answers correct, of, at least if you got... I would say if you got three out of five, you know what I mean? That's a good return. Even if you got some of the names, just slap them in the comments. If you got a answer, slap a one in the chat, man. We're being generous today. But if you didn't, if you weren't able to find the answers and you tried, better luck next time. There's always the next episode, the next question of the day to attack. But if you didn't even bother to attack, Today's question of the day. You're a disgrace. You're a cheat. And you better not bop up here next time. With I didn't have an answer. Because there will be problems. Always. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode. Like we always say, for the ones that reach the very end of these United Twin videos, you guys mean a lot. Hashtag real ones in the chat. Because oh. like we say, like I say most of the time, it's a rarity. Trust me, for a small channel like this, it's a rarity that a lot of people, especially new viewers, reach the end. So if you have, that just means that you are enjoying the video somewhat. And we would love if you could drop a like, subscribe if you're new, share to your friends and frenemies. <laughs> now, next game. We got Fulham in the FA Cup. Very important. Quarterfinal there as well. Yes, indeed. Let's see what we can do. But I want everybody to have a wonderful day. Do what we said before. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. It's very important for the growth of this channel. Until the next time. <clears throat> we'll see you lot sooner.